the people, you know, criticising the former royal, the cable TV actress Meghan Markle, seemingly over her failure to remember the, the most basic of things. But are we being a little bit unkind? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, nice to see you on this beautiful, crisp winter's day. Yes, climate change has really hit <laughs> London. I love it, though, when you come out at this point because it's just nice, isn't it? It's just about bearable. For those that are housebound, and I know there are many people out there, this is a nightmare, particularly if you've got, you know, walkers or a wheelchair and stuff like that. It's so frightening, isn't it, in the slush? Because you just never know whether the wheels will grip or not, you know? It's the same for walkers, though, isn't it? We're all a bit nervous. And people say, oh, it's because you're getting old absolute nonsense the problem is we're busy people and if we trip up slip up fall down then of course that stops our lives doesn't it for months on end young people seemingly can snap back in the blink of an eye <laughs> that's an age thing for you isn't it <laughs> back as ever though to your breaking world story of the day this story really i found fascinating in a sense because as we now know we have the next part of that docuseries for netflix coming out Fascinating stuff when you think about it because they're trying to make something out of nothing, you know. And uh, really, when you consider the dramatic stuff, the, you know, our story, the stakes are so high and suddenly we're supposed to be that interested. Seemingly, the stakes were very low if you look at the first three episodes. Nobody can remember truly uh, what they were talking about or what their main beef was, other than Megan being totally disrespectful to our late and wonderful monarch. So it comes as no surprise, really, does it, that in this particular clip, Megan herself is having something of a memory loss. And as ever, let me explain. She was recalling, of course, that very pivotal moment in any newly married couple, you know, the first dance. I've worked on many weddings, in fact, where the first dance used to just be somebody taking to the floor to their favourite record. Now, of course, it's all choreographed to the highest level. But seemingly on that very big romantic moment of the wedding to the man of her dreams, her soulmate, you know, the person that she truly wants to spend the rest of her life with. She couldn't remember the title of the song. Remember? She figured it was Wilson Pickett. She couldn't quite remember. Now, let's cut to, you know, Megan a little bit of slack here because it's not the first time that she's trotted down the aisle. She's been a busy gal, you know, had quite a few admirers, as we can see from various pictures. So if I was Prince Harry, I wouldn't be too hurt about the fact that neither he or in fact their first dance were as memorable as he possibly had first hoped. Megan, remember next time, if you're going to say something like that on camera, perhaps get a cue card, auto cue, or at least try and remember one of the most important moments of your newly married life. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.